Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be discussing which social media platforms I feel are the best ones for artists, so stay tuned. Right? <laughs> If you've been wondering where you should spend your time and energies when it comes to marketing your art on social media, then you might be interested in what I have to say in this video. Most people think, and I used to think this way too, that Facebook and Instagram are the top places to market your art. But I've got a couple of other platforms that have really helped me and you might be surprised with my favorite one, which of course I saved for last. So keep watching until the end because you just might be surprised. And in the meantime, as I talk, watch me draw this bowl of cherries. And um, by the way, this is being painted with pastel pencils on 400 grit UART sanded paper. There was a time when Facebook was king and it's still a valid platform and I have gotten a lot of art sales through Facebook, but it's just not what it used to be. I myself have been finding myself very frustrated with the amount of work I have to put into Facebook. And Facebook is one of those platforms where if you make a post, it's going to take up a lot of your time if you want it to succeed. You have to go back and keep commenting with everybody and interacting with everybody and you also have to interact with other people on their posts as well as groups just to try and and stay relevant, keep your art in focus and it's very difficult and it can take up a lot of time. Now as I said, I'm not knocking Facebook. I have gotten a lot of sales from it. But when it comes to organic growth, you can't deny that it's just not what it used to be. It's a really great platform if you plan on having a business page and paying to boost your posts. But if you're looking for more organic growth, it's just not what it used to be, like I said before. And it's going to take up a lot, a lot of your time and focus and energies. And as you know, we'd rather be in the studio creating art, right? Now, quick disclaimer, I'm not an internet marketing guru, but I have sold a lot of art over the years and everything I've learned, I've learned by reading a lot of blog posts and watching a lot of YouTube videos. And I've put a lot of these things into practice and this is how I came to learn a lot of things that I'm going to talk to you about today. That and by doing it and learning for myself what worked and what didn't work. Now to Instagram. Instagram is still very hot as a platform to market your art and I have sold a lot of paintings on Instagram. The downside is that like Facebook, posts are posts have a lifespan of about a few hours to a few days max unless you're gone viral. So which requires a lot of continual posting and this takes up a lot of your time where you'd rather be in the studio. So just keep in mind if you're going to be on Instagram, you're going to have to be posting a lot if you want to see a lot of organic growth. My advice is if you're starting out, keep your page a personal page rather than a business page. This way you do get more reach than you would with a business page. And the reason is just like Facebook with a business page, they want you to pay to boost your posts. So unless you're ready to pay to boost your posts, keep your page personal. You're going to grow a lot faster. And I have to say that the first 1,000 followers are your hardest to get. After you're reached, you've reached 1,000, it's going to be a little bit easier. But you still need to be consistent. You got to post at least three to four times a week, if not daily, and use relevant hashtags. Very important. Research your hashtags before you use them. You don't want to just use any hashtag that you see. They might not be relevant to the post that you're you're posting at the time. So research your hashtags, then post relevant hashtags. You can use anywhere from 25 to 30 if you're starting out. I advise about 25 relevant hashtags. And another very important bit of information if you're looking to grow your Instagram, only post art. If you want to market your art, don't confuse people like by throwing in all kinds of non-relevant posts. People want to see art when they go to your Instagram page. It needs to look professional. You have to post good quality art and good quality photos. And if you do this consistently, you will see a lot of growth on your Instagram. And another word of caution is if you're going to use a personal page, make sure your settings are set to public. I can't tell you how many people I see trying to market their art, but their settings are on private and they're wondering why they're not growing. 
you could post all the hashtags you want if your page is private. You're not going to have any reach. Nobody's going to see your post because it's on private. So check your settings. Make sure your settings are on, on public so that people can see your posts. Very important. And now one of my very favorite platforms and that is YouTube. If you don't feel you're ready for YouTube, just try, just jump in. You don't need any expensive equipment. If you have a phone just to start, that's all you need. But try and get on YouTube if you can. And one of the reasons is that YouTube is evergreen. This is such an important term in marketing your art. Evergreen means you post it once, it's always going to be there working for you. Whereas Instagram and Facebook, like I said, your posts die down after a few hours to a few days if you post on YouTube. Videos that you made five years ago will still be working for you today. And also, YouTube is owned by Google, which is like the top search engine. And YouTube itself is a search engine. People put in keywords and search terms and search for things. So if you're on YouTube, you might end up in results and that's very important. So you do want to be on YouTube if you're trying to market your art. Create some how-to videos or just some demos. Just something. Get on YouTube and market your art through YouTube. And now my most favorite platform of all and that is, wait for it, Pinterest. Pinterest is a little thing you never knew about that could create miracles for you. Pinterest, like YouTube, is a search engine. Have you ever noticed that you're searching for an image of something in Google and you get tons of images pop up and guess where they lead you to? They lead you to Pinterest. Pinterest is a search engine. Get to posting on Pinterest and just like YouTube, Pinterest is evergreen. You post it today and five years from now that one pin will still be working for you. YouTube and Pinterest are how I get most of my website traffic now. Most of the referrals to my website come from Pinterest. Pinterest is the number one traffic driver to my website. And I was really surprised to learn how wonderful Pinterest can be. In order to, for this to work for you, however, you do need a website. And once you have a website, it's a good idea to enable social sharing buttons. You want to have buttons, um, on your website so that people can share your paintings. I know I've heard it from a lot of artist friends who are afraid to post on Pinterest because they're afraid that people are going to steal their art. This can happen anywhere online. So if you don't want anybody stealing your art, just don't post online because anytime you post online, there's a risk. So just understand that. If you're afraid of that, just post smaller image that can't be reproduced in print form. But do get a website, enable social sharing buttons, and I get so many people that go to my website also and share from my website. So this is like a nice cycle where people share from my website. It goes on Pinterest. People see a post on Pinterest. It leads them back to my website. And I've sold paintings this way. Now, once you set up your Pinterest account, you want to make sure that you set up a business account. Now, once you've set up your Pinterest business account, you want to make sure that you validate your website or claim your website. Once you do this, you want to set up rich pins and once you have rich pins and your your website validated, then it, it for some reason it gives you a lot more traffic. As soon as you could do that, you can get a lot more traffic and create boards that are niche specific. And what I mean by this is if you're an art page, post art, don't post hairstyles and don't post recipes on that page because it is a business page. You want to make sure you keep it art relevant and specific to your niche. And once you do that, you want to make sure you pin daily and it's not hard to pin daily. You could pin paintings from other artists from Instagram or from their website. Just make sure you do not copy and paste their photos link directly from their website or from their Pinterest. And yes, that will generate traffic for them, but it also generates a lot of followers and traffic for you on Pinterest, which inevitably leads back to your website. So you get a lot by sharing. You're helping other artists and you're helping yourself as well. Just make sure that everything links, links back to the original artist. Another thing with Pinterest, once you have your account going, set up your name so it has keywords in the title itself. For example, if you're a pet portrait artist, you can name your page Suzy Q Pet Portraits and Fine Art. Or if you're a landscape artist, Suzy Q Landscape Artist. And you want to do the same with your pins. You want to make sure that it has a keyword rich title and you also want to make keyword rich pins. So in the description itself, you want to make sure you have all the keywords that 
are relevant to your pin and this will help you be found in the Pinterest search engine itself. So to summarize Pinterest, you want to have a business account, you want to claim your website, you want to pin daily, minimum of five pins or more if you can, and use um, keyword descriptions in your titles as well as in the description and you'll see a lot of growth. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I come out with a new video. And until next time, take care.